There are more homeless people living in New York City today than at any time during the Great Depression of the 1930s. Even more alarming, children account for nearly half of more than 50,000 people registered in the city's shelter system. It's a spike that's part of a troubling nationwide trend. Li Ling Tan has the details. For five winter months, New Yorkers Danielle and Santiago Crespo and their two-year-old daughter Delilah have been sleeping where they can, whenever they can. We're homeless. Not having a place for her. I mean, that's the worst thing in the world to want to take care of your kid and do everything for her and you can't do anything. The Crespos are among countless other homeless families applying for temporary housing in the city's shelters. The numbers are staggering. In January alone, more than 50,000 people slept every night in the city's shelter system, 19 percent more than a year ago, according to a report by the advocacy group Coalition for the Homeless. Of that, more than 21,000 were children, an increase of 22 percent. Uh, we've seen rents increase every year, uh, even though people's incomes have been falling, and for many people, uh, including the poorest New Yorkers, uh, it's harder and harder to make ends meet. The coalition also believes that the city and its mayor, Michael Bloomberg, is at fault for dropping policies that had helped homeless families in the past. Uh, simply put, Mayor Bloomberg is the first mayor since modern homelessness began in New York City 30 years ago to have no housing assistance plan in place to help homeless kids and families move from the shelter system into permanent housing. According to the coalition, the number of homeless New Yorkers sleeping each night in temporary shelters is 61 percent higher than a decade ago when Bloomberg became mayor. The city's Department of Homeless Services did not respond to our requests for comment, but they did react to the coalition report. The mayor blamed a wider state decision to remove a rent subsidy program while noting that there are too few restrictions for shelter applications and that many seeking housing are people from out of town, further straining the city's resources. Whoever is responsible, the question is what's next for New York, where so many go homeless in a city of plenty. The mayor has plans to better verify the needs of shelter applicants, but with a new mayor expected later this year, critics hold out little hope for improvement anytime soon. Lilington, CCTV, New York.